-hmm. part of a piece yeah. and then we can see how <laughs> So welcome to the 100th episode. episode of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. 100 episodes. I cannot believe wow. it's been like we have, we have been doing it very consistently every week. So it means, okay, maybe before we talk, uh, before we continue, we, we, we uh, introduce our guest today. Ah, yes. It's Karl Langendijk, a very good... <laughs> okay, it doesn't it's work. Not working. It's not working. So, Karl is an exceptional uh, concert guitarist and... and <laughs> Thank you. And our idea was to let Karl play the guitars um, as a special for the 100th edition uh, of the weekly guitar meeting. Yes. So I will play my five chords anyway, because this is the it must, signature. It's a signature of the yeah. weekly. Jonathan will play also a few tones and Caroline will play some of her own compositions on the guitar. And then maybe you can also say a few words about yeah. the guitar. It's nice to have also a different opinion from a really concert guitarist and exactly. not us. Yeah, because actually, we don't know anything about the no, sound of the We don't know anything about guitar. Know. Yeah. <laughs> we are deaf. Yeah. And actually I was thinking how many guitars we have uh, presented in this hundred episodes. And it's more than five hundred yeah, wow. different if guitars. If you say five guitars a week, per week? then it's five hundred. Sometimes yeah. we have more than five, even eight, seven, you know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. the most interesting thing is that it doesn't get boring. I'm looking forward to no, the other 100 exactly. episodes. Mm -hmm. These fingers have already touched more than 500 yeah. guitars. Gold, golden fingers. Golden fingers. <laughs> you can order these fingers now. <laughs> you can find the link in the The most list. played fingers yes. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you actually following the weekly guitar meeting? Yes, I mean, yes. I you're am. following the yes. weekly guitar I, meeting. Yes, I watch, I watch them every week. Oh. <laughs> really? I, I sometimes skip through a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, what? What? <laughs> I think I think she skips through if your part comes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Last yeah. week, <laughs> gone. Yeah. yeah. No, I I really like it, and uh, I'm also really excited to see the guitars today and mm -hmm. play on them and yeah, see how it sounds. Like you always Let's say, see right? How it sounds. Let's, Let's see, see how, how it sounds. Let's see how it sounds. Not hear how With it sounds, eyes. but see how yeah. it sounds. With the eyes. <laughs> So, thanks for being here. I'm Thank you looking. for inviting me. You're welcome. And um, this week is going to be fun, I think. It's yeah. And I have to mention, at the end of the video, every one of us will showcase her or his favorite guitar at Zika's Guitars. Yes. So, I have a favorite one. I have my favorite she, one. He has a favorite one. And also, Caroline because she... Uh, recorded a concert at Zika's Guitars and she played on different guitars and I remember that you were you were really impressed by one guitar yes and yes. we have it still there before we start with the weekly guitar meeting uh, you know we have been doing the Zika's Guitars night now the second oh, yeah. edition will be coming on 11th of May with the great guitarist uh, Dimitri Larionov uh, it will be in Kasru, live concert presented by Good Space, collaboration with Sikas Guitars. So if you are around, or I think if you are not around, it's worth the travel to come to Kasru and visit the, and see the concert. See the concert, yeah. He's an amazing guitarist. He was also at Zika's Guitars for a concert recording. He's a good and, friend of us. And a very good friend of us and yeah, exceptional classical guitarist. And 
You can find the link to the tickets in the video description. Um, and there are limited places for the concert. So it's not like unlimited. Yeah. So, so you have to be fast. You have to be fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After so. this, you go to the website, buy the ticket. You buy, <laughs> you buy the ticket. <laughs> and let's start. Let's begin. Let's begin. <laughs> Look, guys. I'm not the only one who plays this high. Look, C plays also this high. And this guy keep complaining that I'm I playing think, with very high Yeah, stool. because I think this looks more natural than this. You know, that's why have, I don't put it so, so high. We have what I have learned is the top of the guitar should be at the top of the uh, at the top of the head. Yeah. yeah. Listen yeah. and learn, Joya. She's like the master. So, actually, I like it like this. Okay. But then. Uh, yeah. Let us hope. So, so guys, <laughs> let us know how you. Play the guitar. How you hold the guitar? What is your guitar position? I actually play with a guitar lift that you yeah. attach here. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So then it's automatically Then higher. it's, yeah. yeah. And I don't have to put my uh, leg up. So I'm just sitting natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, For I don't now know. it's okay like yeah. this. Because I don't play guitar actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so guys, the first guitar uh, is built by Karel Dadan uh, from Ghent in Belgium. This is a brand new guitar from 2024. You can see uh, this is Karel concert model. Basically, this is his idea on how the guitar should sound or his uh, ideal, you know, sound it's of the guitar. It's not a replica. No. Some, some um, uh, spruce top, as you can see, and Madagascar rosewood back and sides. It's very pretty. Wow. You see, uh, the the dark line here makes the the beautiful contrast of the of the back. It's like a Van Gogh painting. Huh? Very strong. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Oh, ah, Van because, Gogh. Okay, she's from Netherlands, so she knows yeah. how to uh, pronounce Van, the Van, Van Gogh. Yeah, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Because it's very strong. Yeah, right, okay. guys. By the way, uh, this guitar is a traditional guitar with us uh, with seven fan bracings. Um, although it is a modern guitar, traditionally built modern guitar. Uh, Karel told me that the guitar is influenced by a little bit in the sounds of uh, Santos Hernandez because as you know Karel was involved in the making of the great book uh, of Santos Hernandez by Alberto Martinez and he drew a lot of plan and of course now all the projects he's been involved in uh, mm -hmm. somehow influence him to build his concert guitar and I think the guitar is very very beautiful and of course, let's, let's see, see how, how it sounds. sounds. <laughs> I don't know what is more beautiful, her playing, or the piece, or the guitar. Uh, both. It's a combination of all. Combination, yeah. It's actually interesting to hear the guitar sound from here because you never sit here and listen to True. a guitar. Yeah. No, it's basically even... we are like 30 centimeters from yeah. the guitar. It sounds very intimate, you know? Yeah. Although we are listening, it feels like we are playing the guitar. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Am, I, am I making yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Know, I know what you mean. Yeah, it makes sense. You're the yeah. first person who knows what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's why we can work so good together, you know? 
So glad to be part of this nice moment part between of this you. <laughs> romantic moment between these two guys. So, Caroline, what do you think then? Um, it has a really nice sound. Um, what does it mean, nice sound? Nice sound, like because nice sound for for some people, nice sound is bright sound. For some people, nice sound is mm -hmm. round and soft. Um, I think a very clear sound. That's what separation. Yeah, tone separation. Yeah, my my thing. That's what stood yeah. out. To yeah, me. your your um, ideal sound. Yes. tone separation. Mm. Yes. Yeah, like everything you can you can hear every single thing. It's not sort of a, a mesh up. Sound cloud. I'd yeah. Say. Yeah. 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 And so how is the playability? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm now playing a song that I usually need a. Uh, capo on the second fret for, but it's also possible without, which is usually uh, a bit mm -hmm, tricky, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, yeah, it works really well. I think what I noticed first thing is the guitar sounds very nice uh, with her tones, you know, mm -hmm. how she plucked the strings and everything, the guitar responding uh, is responding very nicely. Yeah, because she, if she plays, she plays with different colors she's looking for different colors and the guitar should be able to offer that and this guitar mm. does offer the guitar the guitar responds also well yeah mm -hmm. she begins the piece with a very uh, soft touch you know mm -hmm. soft playing the guitar mm -hmm. is responding in a very softly in the in the very soft way mm -hmm. you know and then in the middle of the piece where the where the you know where the intensity of the piece is climbing the guitar is doing well as well yeah and this yeah. is you are yeah. playing at, uh, with drop d right yes yeah mm. and the bass in the drop uh, yeah. for the drop d is yeah just like yeah that. so it's very nice yeah, yeah. It's very beautiful yeah. another piece sure free concert joyan yeah <laughs> free concert <laughs> me the most mm -hmm. when she played these tones in this area the uh, guitar yeah. was singing so good yeah. yeah i want to hear from caroline like i see i see that the separate again the separation now you mm -hmm. really brought out the first string the mm -hmm. melodies yeah 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 how, yeah. how is it like you did uh, do you need a lot of effort to bring out the first string um no it's quite easy like i i don't need that much effort to make it sing mm -hmm. it's, yeah it so feels singing, yeah. really natural mm -hmm. this is also yeah. a good piece to uh, to showcase the guitar yeah because mm -hmm. why, i i, why I love? because i i tried to learn that part but it was too <laughs> i was breaking my fingers Actually, so i stopped circus <laughs> yeah <laughs> by the way the why I why I like or let's say why clarity is very important, mm -hmm. right? The dissonant when you have some dissonant yeah, interval, true. it yeah. has if it's not clear you cannot hear. Yeah. Yeah, like mm -hmm. this. See the guitar without clarity, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. See. Yeah. 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 Very nice. This is kind of I think I don't know. It's not maybe trick or something but to test the clarity of the guitar you see mm. Mm -hmm. you play the dissonant accompaniment or something like this it has to be in the background it has to be three-dimensional but it has to be clear mm -hmm. it's not just being there you have to know it's there mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering the oh man I'm <laughs> 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 he keeps talking huh? but it makes sense everything he's very excited saying. about this guitar. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so maybe I will play my five chords. 
Sure. And then you go on with your soft touch. <laughs> and someone wrote it in the comments. Like, so. Very long sustain. Guys, we have to also talk about the balance of this guitar. It's so even. Yeah. I just wanted to play this these five chords. Now we switch. When did you learn this piece? An hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> you improved a little maybe, bit. Maybe it's the guitar that maybe, allows uh, you to be exactly. Yeah, I mean, it sounded very good on you and also on you. I mean, maybe this guitar is on you as well because when you push the guitar, you play the accord really with the with the full yeah, power. No? Yeah, the dynamic range. It yeah. has a hu huge or wide dynamic mm -hmm. range. The mm -hmm. guitar. I agree. And the, also the tone separation is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So let us know what you think about the sound of this new Karel Dada Dada Dada. Dang dang. <laughs> Karel <de> Ding. <laughs> Guitar, brand new from 2024, and this is his own model, right? Yes, concert model concert from model. Carol. Yeah. Okay, then let's move to the next guitar. So, tell us about the second beautiful guitar that we have. Where is it coming from? This it, is it had from a long way. Japan. Japan? Wow. <laughs> you have been in Japan, right? Yes. She had some concerts. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, see, yes, any, uh, <laughs> anyway, it's made by it's made by uh, Soki Mishima. He is uh, not basically he is he is the grandson of Masaru Kono. Oh. Right now, he is uh, running the Sakura Kono manufacturing mm -hmm. together with his uncle uh, Masaki Sakurai. This is his own model with his own label, Soki Mishima. This is model Sol, uh, which is the top of the line from Soki Mishima guitar. Mm -hmm. Of course, this guitar is his interpretation of, again, uh, the ideal sound that he has been learning from generations. Um, it looks beautiful. I love the rosette yeah. and also the yeah. purflings. Do you think like the rosette is like very Japanese, minimalistic yet very precise? I haven't I been in Japan. Is it reminding you? A little bit, Japan? maybe. But I think if you wouldn't have told me that he's from Japan, I would not have guessed okay. from the mm -hmm. rosette. But okay. I feel like the colors, like the red color, reminds mm -hmm. me a bit of Japan. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, the cedar top and Madagascar rosewood back and sides. Oh, again, oh, guys. Very nice. Also mm. a fang <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Even the, oh. the, the stripe in the middle. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. All the color combination mm. uh, Very nice. consistent, you know, like the, yeah. the rosette, mm -hmm. the bindings, the stripe. There is a connection between these yeah. colors yeah. and parts. Yeah. Yeah. So he put uh, a lot of this is also very nice work to talk. Oh. See the flower on the hat. Is it a flower? I'm I think sure. so. Yeah. Yeah. Could be inspired Wooden flower. by a flower or a, some or kind some, of yeah. yeah. Something like that. All right. Without a further ado, play it. <laughs> to the second piece no before yeah. we before yeah. we yeah. say Good something idea. yeah or yeah. before you tell oh, yeah. give yeah. us more give yeah. us more i just want to say one thing that this song it always reminds me of something japanese so i think it's really nice oh. to be playing this on, on a, a japanese japanese, japanese, guitar. japanese guitar so yeah. it fits on a guitar together. made by a japanese guitar yeah music. exactly yeah <laughs> like it, it, it just fits when i play it yeah Eating caviar. Yeah, I've never ate caviar. <laughs> it was like best truffle tartufo. Is Tru it? Truffle, truffle yeah, in truffle. Italy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. You were yeah. in Italy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it was great. And yeah, I mean, yeah. tell us, Kalen. It's very, very nice. Um, it sounds very warm. Mm -hmm. I think. And what does warm mean for you? Joanne, <laughs> give her a break. Let her. <laughs> it sounds round and warm, but yeah. Uh, yeah. not round. not. I mean, there's also still enough brightness. Like in yeah. the bases, I feel mm -hmm. like it's very deep, but also enough brightness to still um, have the clarity. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think this is somehow it's for me. It's not that much different to the Karl Dada guitar in terms of tone separation it's very um, close to Karl Dada but it's the sound is just a bit more round yeah I mean it's a CD guitar so mm -hmm. yeah. I also expect that yeah. kind of sound and yeah. what what do you think guys oh um, I think I agree with you guys the 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 first thing that I thought after you play or while you are playing the guitar is the guitar gives the piece a different color and atmosphere mm -hmm. you know in comparison to, to, to the Karel Dadan guitar yeah yeah of course it's it is different guitar but it enhances the musicality in a different way mm -hmm. you know the Karel the separation was exceptional with the clear uh, the, uh, clear dissonant mm -hmm. with a clear dissonant three-dimensional and this one gives more like 
a little bit more soul in the piece. Mm-hmm. The piece is more dramatic. Yeah. You know, it's more mysterious. Yeah. The yeah. melody, and you know, I'm being too philosophical. You know, yeah. I'm just, I'm just. He's sorry, guys. Philosophical. <laughs> you know, I'm a bit. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I will play the my chords on it, and then we move to. Then, Maestro. Then, then no, 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 nice. By the way, guys, this is 64 centimeter scale. Mm. Which makes the guitar for me personally a bit easier to play. Really? I, I like the 64. But you have quite a normal finger. Look. I think maybe it doesn't have that much to do with the fingers, but the, the feel of the neck. I don't know. It's yeah. the, the distance between your head and your fingers in the first. All right. Um, yeah. I also felt like it was very easy to play, mm-hmm. especially yeah. the the difficult chords. It was mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. comfortable yeah, to the play. The shape of the neck is very feels good. Yeah. Okay. I feel good. <laughs> I was in the fitness studio in the morning, oh, right, that's okay. why. Also very good sustain. Mm-hmm. To be honest, it has some qualities or similarities to the Kagal de Dan guitar. It's also very well balanced. All the tones have, have the same loudness. It's powerful. And the tone separation. I love it. Okay. I play only these chords. responds very well to the left hand vibrato yeah like i think the top has good flexibility mm. so it has the pumping air yeah right oh. okay. nice tone. i don't do a lot just move my finger a little bit no effort and it's already reacting very well yeah, yeah of course you can do more mm. play the flight me to the moon Oh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you such a such a aggressive vibrato? It's like. Uh, did I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are double ah. see from inside that's why maybe the guitar is pushing so much forward and loud and you can feel the whole resonance yes typically guys i think uh, double sides uh, always not always it's always depending on the construction but it gives you a little bit more projection mm. not yeah, volume, I agree. projection it's different things right volume yeah. and projection yeah mm. definitely good i think we should move to the next to the next guitar because it's also a so Kimishima guitar yeah. with a spruce top. Mm-hmm. So guys, you see Karan has a hat, but we don't. That's why 
it doesn't feel good to be hapless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, but now it's fine. It's like... Don't break the string. Your head is too big for the head. Huh? Your head is too big for, for the, the head. head. Your head. It's like, you know... It's like riddle. Uh, oh, and by the way... Yeah, it looks great. You got this. Yeah. I got this. So, this is also a Soki Mishima guitar. Um, the, difference, the differences are, I think, first of all, the woods. This is a Stella model. Stella model. Okay. This is not so. Basically, this is the uh, another model that is uh, more cost efficient. Okay. Uh, but it's still a beautiful guitar. Mm -hmm. You are laughing at my expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your glasses. <laughs> okay. And uh, okay, so the construction is also a little bit different than the. I than think the... this one has six fan bracings. Okay. That one five or that one six or five. But both are traditionally built oh, yeah, guitars. They are, they are, yeah. mm. I think two diagonal bars. Oh, sorry, horizontal bars. Mm -hmm. But also this guitar has a beautiful rosette. Yeah. I cannot see. Where is the rosette? <laughs> the ros I cannot see. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Now you see? Now I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's also beautiful. The yeah. Spruce top and back and sides are also Madagascar? Like no, the other it's one? Indian, I think. Indian oh. rosewood. Indian rosewood. Ah, yeah. Indian rosewood. So as you said, it's still very fine built, but it's more cost efficient. I think it's inspired yeah. from the Kono guitars from 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the old traditional Kono guitars. Uh, the shape of the plant, the plantilla of the body, so it looks a little bit big. Uh, I don't know if my glasses or you know, guys. maybe yeah. No, 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 no. You keep, you keep wearing. Okay, okay. I just see with my old eyes. I, yeah. I will put this on. Right? All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am. My eyes are so bad. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, that's life. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I think. All right. Craftsmanship, Japanese mm -hmm. precision at its finest. Yeah. All right, Caroline, let's go. Give it a go. expect that give it back I, I didn't expect that uh, especially if you consider the price tag of this guitar oh yes yeah. what do you think Hala? I really like it um, what did it, it you sounds like? there's like so much clarity um, but also still enough warmth it's very comfortable to play mm. um, it's breathing yeah it's very yeah it's open. not in tune it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I agree with you guys. I think. Do you think it's organic sounding guitar? Yeah, definitely. That's yeah. the first thing that came to my head. It is very organic. Like mm -hmm. this is how the guitar should sound. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Like it no has surprises. Yeah. In some loud tones, suddenly or some. Uh, some positions of the guitar that are not working mm, no dead notes no it's very volume is good yeah as well 
You want to play the second piece? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is my piece. I have composed this piece and only I am allowed to play this piece. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, by the way, guys, guys, this is, I didn't compose this piece because once I said that, um, I think you played the melody of the fly me to the moon yeah. and I was, just, I was joking and I said, uh, don't play my piece. This is my piece. Somebody and someone commented. in the comments, right? No, it's not composed by you. It's fly me to the moon by, uh, Frank Sinatra and, uh, he took it seriously. I, I was joking, man. You took him seriously. Look at him. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not serious. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this piece is composed by me. This is composed by me. See? Uh, guitar has agreed with everything that we said about the sound yeah what so do you think Caroline on this piece it's very nice it's you know I can make the melody mm -hmm. sing yeah that, it sounds yeah. very yeah. nice in yeah. the high it has the sustain still yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's also yeah. very very ringing yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and even the Well, should I play the, the chords? Let's do it! Let's wow, do wow, it. Wow. Can I play the chords? Yes, yes, you okay. can. And this, yeah. No, no, no. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> no break between All right. the... Yeah, again. I will try again. No, it's master class. <laughs> Go on. Tried. Yeah, you have to practice it more. Yeah, I have to watch yeah. more weekly. I will give you the, 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 the scores. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we move to the next guitar? Why not? Yeah, let's, let's do it. go. Okay, guys, this is a guitar by Tobias Brown. Uh, this is a Romanios style instrument by Tobias Brown. Uh, basically, I think Tobias might be like one of the person who has a close contact with Romania's family. Mm -hmm. He really understands the style or the, the philosophy on the Romania's guitars. And this is his take on building Romania's guitar, you know, uh, he, uh, copy, mm -hmm. basically. And Tobias is from Austria. He's uh, maybe some of the best guitar makers in, in Austria now. Yeah. Alright, without further ado, this is Spruce Top and Indian Rosewood back and sides. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Yep. So there are some little hidden details. 
Yeah. On the guitar that you can discover. Yeah. Oh, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Exactly. I like that it comes back here. You know, guys, yeah. the the saddle. You can oh. change the action of the saddle just by sliding it. You know, you don't need any new saddle. If you want a higher oh. action, you just slide it. Oh wow! Well. Okay. And it's a bit extended here. Yeah. If you push it down, the, all the action of the strings will be higher. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> What do you think, Kala? It's very loud mm -hmm. and very yeah. responsive, like mm -hmm. it responds immediately when I play something and um, very clear sound. Yeah. 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 It's like very bright Romanius. as well. Yeah. Rom Romanius like yeah. it's mm -hmm. very intimate, bright, brilliant. clear, yeah, brilliant mm -hmm. and uh, beautiful colors. Yeah. Yeah. It's very it has typical. this uh, bell like tones on yeah. the first string. Yeah. Yeah. Second? Second yeah. piece. singing first string mm -hmm. mm. I noticed yeah. that also in comparison to the other guitars um, yeah what do you think I like so much the resonance of the guitar mm -hmm. and uh, the overtone mm -hmm. I think the overtone is it's very controlled yeah in a way that when you play chords open strings uh, it's not like overly ringing but it's not too short everything is just in prop in proportion in good proportion yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 i agree yeah i really like the the kind of sound that mm -hmm. comes without putting too much effort in uh, it. I see. it like yeah. it plays by itself yeah it yeah. comes from the good response yeah. if mm -hmm. the guitar is responding very well and fast mm -hmm. you don't have to put a lot of work yeah. to get a yeah. good sound of it yeah so tobias i'm looking at the guitar because karen said it plays by itself. Can it plays by itself? <laughs> play. Let's see. Play. 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 <laughs> Actually, it was a lie because the guitar doesn't play by itself. No, it's a metaphor, Jaya. Of course, only I know it. Only artists can, you know, deliver this kind of meta uh, meta message. Yeah. I didn't hear. I didn't listen to it. What did you say? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> All okay. right. So it was a Tobias Brown or. In, in uh, Austria, they say Braun, Braun. To, Tobias Braun. Guitar. But he has, still has to play the, the uh, chords. Give, oh, the chords. Give her the master class, Joya. Yeah. yeah, okay. Let's no, I think now I can do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, let's, it needs to be documented. So, you know, I have a lot of videos of you on my phone. I don't know what to do with it, actually. Every time when I'm messing up, he's doing a video of me and... At some point, all these videos will appear somewhere. <laughs> At some box. point, my phone is full of you. Full of, full of <laughs> me, yeah. Okay, now um, play the first, um, the famous chords mm -hmm. composed by me. Yes. And 
pay attention to what I told you about on the last guitar. I will. So I will. Go on. I'll try. Go on. I thought it was very nice. But guys, what do you think? I think it's very nice. Di da, di da, da. Again, that part. This one is not matched with the other tones. Okay. Again. The brilliance, it's not too much, you know, it just mm -hmm. gives the, the melody a little bit more spark, but mm -hmm. it's not it's being not annoying to the yeah, ears, yeah. you know. Absolutely, I agree. Very good. <laughs> cool, alright, so this is the last guitar of the week, I think, no? But... Now comes the surprise. So each of us will showcase you our favorite guitar at Zika's. That we have available at Zika's, of course. Yes. And um, should I start? Let's do this, you know. We will hold our favorite guitars mm -hmm. and we will take a round just to play. You play one piece, I play one piece, you play one piece. Thumbs Perfect. up. Thumbs up. Perfect. Yes. Let's pick up the guitar. Caroline, what do you have? So this is a 1932 Santos Hernandez. Uh, so very, very old guitar, probably one of the oldest that I've played. And I played this one uh, back in May when I recorded my concert video here and when I was here for the first time. And Julian just gave me this guitar and I was like, OK, looks interesting, looks a bit funny and old. But then I played it and it just felt like like something magical happened. You know, sometimes you just play an instrument and you feel a connection to it and you're not really sure why but it just fits and that's what I had with this guitar so mm -hmm. yeah it feels very special to play it again now so uh, let's right. see if the magic is still there yeah the magic <laughs> The funny thing is, um, when I'm recording the artists, of course, they play on our guitars and sometimes 
if a guitar doesn't fit to them well, um, they just let me know and I will give them another guitar. And this guitar was the guitar that everyone felt in love with. Mm, Every really? professional guitarist. So this is not just a guitar for for collectors. This is also a guitar that can be played on big stages mm. yeah. because of the clarity, beautiful tone and yeah. and has, the magic yeah. that it, you cannot explain. It just has such a beautiful tone. Like while playing, it just, you really feel the music somehow. Um, yeah. yeah, I agree. Okay, so it's Santos Hernandez from 1932 and maybe I will introduce my guitar, not my guitar, but your, your favorite, favorite. My favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. So my favorite guitar is made by Hernandez y Aguado. Every time when we receive a Hernandez y Aguado guitar, I fall in love with that guitar. And I think it's also, it's about a m something magical that I cannot explain. I think it's the tone of the guitar and the sweetness, but at the same time, a power in the sound. And maybe I will just play on it and sure. not talk a lot. Mm -hmm. guitar yeah. this is this is my favorite guitar I have I haven't much to say about it nice. that's Joanne's favorite guitar yeah and under the Aguado from 1963 yeah. sounds really beautiful yeah, yeah. Really nice. okay Jonathan I'm very curious what you have for us all right now my favorite guitar <laughs> Last but not least from today's episode of the guitar weekly guitar meeting. The 100th edition. The 100th edition 100 will episode. be closed by my favorite guitar. And this is? This is a 1979 Manuel Reyes. Uh, I think this guitar is simply amazing. Honestly, it's not on the same price category of the other two instruments, but this is just simply amazing Spanish guitar. It's actually also one of the artist's favorites. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone who played on that was amazed. Yeah. it like to touch the guitar a little bit you know the, the sound is just coming out mm -hmm. you don't yeah. need to push the guitar a lot and then it's loud but still organic yeah because very natural yeah, yeah. It, it's always like that guys like it's very hard to find a loud guitar with organic sound yeah. it's either you get the 
organic sound, less volume or more volume, modern sound, mm -hmm. you know? And this is like for me, like the ideal sound of what mm. to mm. my liking. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Let us know which one of these guitars was your favorite. And of course, all the guitars that we have presented to you today. So guys, this was the 100th weekly guitar meeting edition. Um, I am very happy that I got to be a part of it. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for having and, me. Um, having yeah. us. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thanks for inviting Okay, sorry. It's, it's very weird if we don't talk, but it's nice to yeah. not to talk. Continue. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll come back next week again. Well, good, and idea. I'll do it good idea. Good idea. Yeah, let us know in the comment section what you liked about this episode, which guitar you liked a lot, and. Um, which of our favorite guitars you like the most of course we want you to choose ours so leave a like subscribe and don't forget that there is the wonderful guitarist dimitri ilarionov playing here in karlsruhe on the 11th of may and we would love to see you there and you can find the link for the tickets yes. in the video description you, you say goodbye or? We all say goodbye. Okay. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time.